Welcome folks, we are doing not an unboxing video, shockingly, but today we are doing our first round table discussion with some things that are very near and dear to us tonight, and of course we got Gray the Beast 490 to our left. You say round table, but this is square. Yeah. We'll We're work working on, on it, man. We'll work on yeah. it. And of course, KJ, aka Calvin Ray, to my right. <laughs> so today, like I said, we're doing our, our first round table discussion video on a couple of things that um, shocked us, to say the least, today in, in nerd news, um, fandom, fanboy news. Um, the first being the announcement of the Power Rangers movie, which dun, dun, dun. none of us ever thought would come true. You know, Jason David Frank has been pitching for about a year or so now oh, God. that um, he would like to there to be a Green Ranger movie made, and it was um, mentioned to him by a fan at one of the cons. He brought it up to Saban, and now Saban is taking it to a whole another level, rebooting the Power Rangers franchise in movie form by teaming up with Lionsgate, no doubt. Yeah, of all places, of all of all the places, Lionsgate do some good movies. So I'm not, they, they, it, I'm not. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm not disappointed by the person, the group he chose. To go you're with. just gonna be disappointed if Tyler Perry's not part of it. Hmm. Sorry. I'm going to ignore that, <laughs> take some white out, white it out. But you also, Lionsgate out. also made See No Evil. That is true. That is true. So I, that's because, like, you got Hunger Games, See No Evil. Two totally different movies. If I'm not correct. Good. Suck. Where is Power Rangers going to fall in? Uh, if I'm not correct. Didn't uh, they do uh, Hellboy? We, we are Power Rangers. We are wrestling fans, too. So, yeah, I mean, but, See I No mean, Evil. Hunger Games. Which one was good and which one was bad to you? I actually, I I'd rather prefer the Hunger Games. Because that, that, that was actually never, a really good movie. Never saw the Hunger Games. And, you know. I've been told the plot and I just don't. We've know. also seen the Marine, also. And you see how the WWE films comes up with that. I prefer the sequel. Both the sequels. Teddy Biasi. So, yeah. Um, first, that's one thing we are really concerned about is. The casting, and how are they going to, if they are going to incorporate the original cast of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or a brand new, oh crappy kids thing from high school. I don't think they're going to go with the old cast, but I do think, and I hope they're going to have at least have JDF in there. Yeah. Now, do you think they may include past Power Rangers in the movie, kind of like how Stan Lee does a Marvel? I would hope so. I mean, I would hope that the original Rangers would show up somehow, but not in exactly main roles. Like now, as like how they're making the Goonies too. How they want the original cast to be back, but as the parents of the kids that are starting the new. I didn't that know that, is, doing that is actually one point I did want to bring up. I mean, we were talking about ideas earlier yeah. before the video, of course, but this one I kept to myself because I want to save it for the video. What if? I know this is a long stretch, but what if they think they took the original Power Rangers? Say, you know, they have their kids and everything, you know, it's so many years in the future now, and they, Zordon, I don't know, comes back in essence. Yeah. Some, some, some kind of, it's Saban, it can happen, yeah. anything's possible. Anything is possible. But what do, you, what do you say, like, somehow they re-energize the Power Coins, because they never lost the original ones, they just no. lost the power. Yeah. So they can still have the coins to like hit the And Zoran's process. not dead, I don't think. I think he was, Well, he was an interdimensional being, so he came through a portal to get here in the story. So <laughs> they didn't say in essence, per se. No. So in essence, he's potentially still alive and hope, probably Billy's still on Aquatar. <laughs> so <laughs> my so idea. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't it be funny if they had a Blue Ranger Aquatarian? Like, power at the Alien Rangers all over again? I can see it. <laughs> and I weird. slowly pull the gun in my face because if I hear anything, I need water one more time. I'm going to shoot myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, uh, where I'm trying to get at is um, it'd be a, a cool idea. Like, we were the Power Rangers and we want you to, you know, take this. And, you know, now you, maybe not even tell them what it is. Yeah. Just, like, have them, you know, walk around and say, like, they got a power coin as a necklace. And, yeah, I'm still bitter about that damn coin I bought off of Starlight Studios. <laughs> But, you know, just like walking down the street, next thing you know, oh, putties attack. And next thing you know, as they're fighting, it energizes the coin, and bam, they turn. Either that, you know, that could, that could happen, or like have them find the coins in a case somewhere near the remnants of the old command center. 
That'd be a good one too. And then like, hey, you know, it's just five friends walking around. Now, of course, it kind of goes away from the original story of it'll be so funny I'm finding if they go with that idea and the case they find in it. It's just like the case you made when we went to MegaCon. You know, it'll be, it'll be even funnier if the case was located right next to the Zeo Crystal because it never got destroyed. Oh. Zeo Crystal energized power. You just made that mysterious a little bit and I, ominous. I know. Let's just, I, I feel like we're trying to start a fan fiction. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no, it would be funny if, if like, they had the case, they grabbed them, they put around the necklaces, and all of a sudden the morphers would somehow appear on their, on their waist. And in the 93 effects, too. <laughs> yeah. <sorry. laughs> Italy effect. And then, you know, like, have this. Remember how in the original 93 Power Rangers they used the copies that you could buy in, in Toys R Us and stuff like that. Well, use these exact replicas to make replicas to make these relevant in the in the show and the movies. Yeah. Again. Now, I have a, I have a thought. If Michael Bay was to do this movie, we could see nothing but explosions in very few Ranger scenes. And Power Rangers is nothing but explosions. I mean, mm-hmm. they pose. And there's explosions. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you I think the first Power Rangers movie, they didn't have really that many explosions. Well, you gotta realize the time frame it was then. Well, still. Well, okay. For a Power Rangers movie, it didn't have that many explosions. I mean, they thing. used all the money in that crappy looking Megazord. Yeah. I mean, I know it's... That was the worst looking Megazord I've ever seen. Away from all the CGI stuff they do now... What can we make it look better? Let's chrome it. I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, I've been just, you know, hard on the CGI Megazords here in the last five or six years, but damn, that was the worst looking Megazord I have ever seen, in, like, to, even today. And so, I mean, but, you know, it would be, I don't know, because Michael Bay is kind of finicky with characters. All I do is piss him off one time. Megan Fox, Transformers, gone. All she had to do is piss him off one time. So I mean, I still miss her. I'm sorry. And the, 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 you know, Transformers kind of went downhill after that. Unfortunately, no, it's still a great series. Um, can't wait to see the next one coming out because of the. They're putting dinosaurs. Yeah, they're bringing the Dinobots. Or that's that's gonna be cool to see. Should I say Dinobots? Yeah. What was it? Uh, they called them Dinobots back in the day. Dragon Jaw. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> and so you guys have anything else to add to the? the um. Colleges? What I would like to see is a trilogy with this, because oh, yeah. when you think about it, the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they had three different seasons. They had Rita, Zed, and then Rita and Zed, mm-hmm. mixed with, you know, a whole bunch of other characters. Yeah. Now they could, you know, easily make it into a trilogy, because I don't want to see one movie that's an hour and a half long to try and show everything from Power Point A, where they get their power coins, all the way to Ninja, and then when they... Finally, yeah. defeat Zed and Reed. I, I. Well, they said that they, they, they're going to want to reinvigorate the Mighty Morphin brand. So it looks like there's going to be a at least a two or three movie series. Now you got to remember, this is a reboot. Yeah. And usually, when it doesn't matter if it's Power Rangers or some franchise, a reboot, most cases don't do that well because they don't go with the original storyline of whatever they're getting it from. And when they try to do the little mix of it, they can, let's just face it, they screw it up. Yeah, it's, it's okay. So, if it is a reboot, fine. Let's just hope Saban and Lionsgate can really put kinda their like, heads together. and Kind of like how me and Gray are still kind of bitter of the, the last Dark Knight movie with Robin. Exactly. Yeah, I give you. That's, that's, a whole, mm. that's a whole different roundtable discussion in and of itself. Yeah, do we have to really bring that up? And then, of course, the new Spider-Man. Love the new Spider-Man, but God... Rhino only gets five minutes of screen time, and he's a machine. Hey, haven't seen the new one yet. I saw a trailer, and I just, you know, was disgusted by that. Mm. But Jamie Foxx is like, you know, he's in. I can't. No, no, nothing against Jamie Foxx, but I I can't buy him as Electro. I can't. Because you you notice that the, 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 or the, the Electro that you see in the comic books and in the ride and the television show was... Had things come out of his head. This guy just <laughs> no. He, he reminds me of the guy from The Watchmen, the blue guy. Mean I the, remember the blue guy. You mean the new guy? The, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly who he reminds me of. It just hit me while he was talking. I mean, I know who you who he was without bringing up the fact that he was nude, and you see his thing. thing. 
Um, I, I feel like if Jamie Foxx did that, I'd be an R. Kelly incident all over again. No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that's not. But that's overall, to get back on Power Rangers, Spider Man was I hear is a good movie. I haven't seen it yet, but I think they'll do a good job. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you know. That's why these things I brought these out finally. Um, just you know, if they do ruin it. We have these in our heads. Like, yeah. That's what it was supposed to look like. And what was funny was I downloaded a Power Rangers app for the iPhone. And it's an app where you can go through the pictures that people have submitted and stuff like that. Well, I happened to come across one about two or three months ago. And it was a, I would like to think, an, uh, an actual movie poster, but it looked like it was fan, fan made. made. And it said 2015, it's morphin' time. And it had what appeared to be the new Megazord. Dice and So, so I. I'm going to put that picture on our Facebook and then I'm going to use that as the lead picture for um, the video so you guys will be able to see that as well. Um, so now moving on to round two of our discussion. Oh my god, I'm about to nerd out. There's a new Pokemon game coming out. And you and I were talking about it earlier too about what to do with X and Y if a new game came out and yeah. then this happens. Boom. You know what it is? It's a reboot of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Oh my god. So it's like our circle just had a mind blown experience today. <laughs> Power Rangers and the remake of Ruby and Sapphire. Now, they're going to be awesome, different, and it looks like they're going to have. If. Like this, just speculation. The. What, what form was that? Hmm? Megaforms? Yeah, yeah Megaforms. If they're going along with what they did in X and Y, which I did enjoy, unlike some other people who just said, Oh, it's crap, it's not like the original. Boo them. I enjoyed X and Y. If it's like that, then we're going to see a lot of that generation having a lot of mega evolutions. Hopefully, my favorite Typhlosion is going to get a mega evolution. I saw some fan arts of that, and they look quite epic. Hmm. It's just... For alligator. Mega form. Hmm. Make it happen, please. Make it happen. Now, now, scaling back to the Power Rangers thing real quick, I went to Ranger Boards today, and of course, it's exploding. Like, it's like someone lit a bomb off in there, kind of explosion. And some person had the, what looks to be like a rendering of the new suits for Power Rangers, which, uh, what, I hope, it? no, God, no. I'm not, I'm hoping it's something he put together, or it was something that was at a con, and it's on the screen of something, of some sort, like, I'll, I'll show it to you guys and I'll put it in the description. It, it was just horrible. But we'll go back to the, the Pokemon thing. You say it like it's nothing. I mean, because it's, it's, it'll bring down the Pokemon thing. I don't want the Pokemon thing to be brought down. It's Pokemon here. Hell yeah. We've been waiting for this since the 3DS was first talked about. Yeah. And we got it with X and Y. But besides the point. Now, I heard some people saying that they are wishing that this Ruby and Sapphire remake had the basic look to it, you know, kind of like how, I guess you could say, black and white did. Honestly, I don't want that. I want it to have the X and Y look to it, you know, have that 3D world effect. Because, quite honestly, after playing that, I tried playing black and white again, and I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, that's like when um, Diamond and Pearl, I tried to play those after the new one came, The it's following one came out, no clue what to do. Weird. Get out. And, and, I, and I hate to say this, I really do. Have you noticed that, you know, they announced brand new Pokemon games that takes place in the Hoenn region. In the Hoenn region. And you know, this particular month, it is the same as a character from the, the show, May. Uh, you know I hate it, May. <laughs> That's exactly why I said it. <laughs> I hate it, May, and the month of May. Back to Pokemon. And we'll As you can it. see, we are overly excited for a reboot of a game we haven't played in for years. And Which is funny, because I still got the original. So, so do I. Yeah. Remember the, 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 the Nintendo, the light one? The Game Boy Advance SP? Yeah. So I have that, and I still have the game. Well, I got stolen from also. You know you're a nerd when you have every console. Yeah. From every generation. Not saying it's a bad thing, because it's... I got the app for it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I remember you got that app. How's that working? It's... Probably because you're... Buggy. Probably because your phone sucks. 
Yeah. I've actually found a Game Boy Advance uh, emulator app. Oh god, on the iPhone? Yeah, yeah, it actually it actually works. Oh, but I gosh. think with the the grade of your phone that you that if you have the the phone that you have, depending on how how well it is. The the it app works itself is sketchy, and I, I you actually shared it on Facebook. I did because it was you know I had it on my old Android phone, and that was way before I decided. Thanks to you guys, before I decided to switch to Apple. And it worked flawlessly, and you know, when I got the iPhone, I'm like, oh, I'm going to lose all the fun of having an emulator on and playing Pokemon Emerald and using cheats and getting fast XP and running into any Pokemon I wanted to. You know, it was kind of fun. But when I found that, you know, it was like... But where I was... High school all over again. Where I was going with the whole ad situation, though, is that it did not have Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire. Even though it had Game Boy Advance games... I'm guessing it essentially, if you, if it was a game that you know would require to be saved, it wouldn't work. Mm. If it, so I haven't tested it out myself yet. But if it's like what it used to be, you could add games to it. Mm. Yeah. So but, you know, once, free. once with the announcement of the, the the Pokemon game, I am mad that I did not buy the Hoenn region badges at MegaCon. What? Yeah. eBay. Mm. We were at MegaCon and this one who's fairly cute. This lady had... And you still didn't hit it, which I won't say. Gray, you could hit the broad side of a barn with a rocket launcher. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she had every badge from every region starting from Kanto to... How far did she go? All the way to... She didn't go uh, to Kalos. Kalos went ahead. She went to Unova. I think that's how you pronounce it. 20 bucks a piece. 20 bucks a piece for all badges in each region, which... I thought it was 10. No, it was 20. It was 20. Because I had, I had like 13 on me, and I was, I was like, damn it, I'm down to my life. They were very highly detailed, so as if you were watching the show and it was on your TV screen. It was life-size, you could wear it, or you could, like if you're doing an ass co cosplay like he wants to do, he can have them all lined up here, and, you know or be can, Gary and be a dick. I, I, I want to say we're probably getting off topic now, because we were originally talking about Pokemon. And Pokemon <laughs> comedy. <laughs> and, How excited yeah. we are. So, I mean... <clears throat> Can I tell you looking a little empty? Yeah, I am. But before I go get my refill, the price of Pokemon was probably going to be like any new game. It'd be like thirty nine dollars. Typical. Now, game. now the only bad thing is Ranger Stop is that same month, November, is which when... is preceded by Halloween of Horror Nights. So we're not going to have any money those two months. Speak for yourself. Halloween Horror Nights. Save it up. Wait for those videos because it's going to be <laughs> fabulous. 